Wayne Brown, the Ram Man here, my friends. Hey, wanted to talk to you guys about these uh, hub bearings, unit hub bearings that have been used since the uh, 90s. Now, they tell us that these things are non-serviceable and you can't do anything with them and leave them alone and all that. Well, that's the big old lie. The big giant lie. And you know, my dad was a two-time engineer out of A&M here in Texas. And he was always trying to build a better mousetrap and he used to tell me, in every generation, these engineers, they think that they're gonna solve the problem. You know, so, when you look at this bearing, this is something that doesn't have to be greased, that's sealed, that's gonna last a lifetime and all this old nonsense. Well, all we have to do is use a little bit of common sense and think about uh, constant duty electric motors. They're turning all the time. They're under a whole lot more strain than an automotive type bearing. And you know, they've got sealed bearings in those and then the uh, really good ones and the ones for military and everywhere else, they've got grease fittings so that you can grease them. Because you do have expansion as things heat up and things are gonna come out. Let's look at this little bearing right here. This, my friends, only got about uh, 20,000 miles on it. If you look right around here, you can see where this grease has been oozing from the seal. That's the only place that it is. So, it is obvious that this unit bearing is leaking grease over time. The evidence is right there. You cannot make something sealed up completely because of expansion, heat expansion gases. Now, bearings wear out from lack of lubrication. This is the design of these new things. They've got two roller bearings side by side right here. Now look at this right here. This is off one of our vehicles. How much grease do you see in that thing? That's right. There ain't much. And, but the way it's designed is, they've given us a gift, and this is part of the big lie. You see the ABS sensor hole? That is the only access to the inner bearings. There is no other way. You can't drill a hole, put in a grease fitting. Well, they've already given it to us. They've just made a sled us. Look at this, my friend. Yes, we came up with them. There goes our Molly Grease. Blue Barbarian. What we found, oftentimes these bigger hubs, they will eat an entire three ounce can. And when the hub is new and it comes in the box, Oftentimes we'll find that it'll eat an ounce or two. Yeah, especially that lower end stuff. Now stuff like your Tempkin, top of the line, considered the best there is. They could do a good job. So it makes you wonder after they put it together, how much grease they're actually putting in these things. Is there a formula where it's determined about how long they'll last? Find our hole, ABS hole. Slides in there kind of snug. Just like that. You can do this too. Turn it upside down. Let it set in its base. And this is how we do it. Rotating the bearing. It's 
so it's putting it in equally. And we can just fill these things full. It's easy, just with a little mini grease gun. Go. Take your wheel and your rotor off. Pull your ABS sensor. And you can now grease your unit hubs just like they're supposed to be done. Just like common sense will tell you. Alright friends, 817-691-5996. Yes, we sell these little doodads. Catch me on the web. God bless you. God bless America. And have a wonderful day.